welcome back to Railgun Adventures. So, um, quick video, bit of a how-to. This is um, shrink wrap. So, um, I've done a few silencers and I've made a few videos recently where I've talked about the heat shrink cover on the silencers and I've been asked to actually show you how it's done. It's really easy, really straightforward. Now, I've done all the silencers, but this is a barrel extension for an Umarex, uh, Umarex Morph 3, um, which is painted because it's shrouded. Um, so it's prone to being scratched. I'm going to put a bit of rubber on it to protect it. So this is the said rubber. This has been cut to size. I'm going to put some links in the description of where you can buy this from. There's a few places you can get this. It's really inexpensive. I've cut this with a pair of scissors. You can cut this with a craft knife if you prefer. Some people do. It's around about two millimeters larger than the diameter of this barrel extension. Now, that's probably ideal. You can go a bit bigger, but it will shrink. Um, so I tend to buy something that's fairly universal. This fits a few things that I've, I'm working on. Um, so it's not a big deal if it's too loose. If it's too tight, you've got a problem. So cut the size, slip it on. That's a nice tight fit. Now most of this barrel extension screws into the rifle. So all of that will disappear but this bit is going to be exposed. So that's what I'm going to shrink the rubber onto. Now that's, that's on. So to actually shrink it, you need a source of heat. I think a hairdryer is plenty good enough and I have used it before. I'm in the workshop, so I'm going to use a hot air gun, a heat gun. Now this is really old, probably not as hot as it used to be, and it's got power settings. So I'm going to use it on its lowest power setting. Um, I'll do it and then I'll talk because you won't be able to hear me with this on. doesn't take much heat at all. That's it. Now with a silencer, you can actually screw it back onto the rifle, onto the barrel, so you don't have to hold it. But to be honest, it doesn't require that much heat, so it doesn't get that hot. Um, that's just warm. Now on this end, there is a sort of a, a muzzle finisher, just a plastic decorative thing. Um, and it had some pattern and shape to it. And you can see the, the rubber has shrunk and you can just about make out the shape through there. You don't want to go too mad because you don't want it to look too obvious. And I've left it just shy of the end so that this protector is exposed, uh, which looks much better than having the rubber go all the way up. But in a nutshell, that's it. It's really easy. So if you want to know where to get it from, I'll pop some links in the description. Any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, what I'll do is I'll just cut, I'll assemble this rifle and I'll go out with the rifle fully built. Be right back. There we go, Umarex Morph. It's quite an interesting looking thing, isn't it? And that's the barrel completely covered. Now the next project for this is a moderator, but that's a little way down the line. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It's a big thank you to all those who have and all those that do. I'll be back soon, but in the meantime, stay safe, shoot safe. Bye for now.